My name is Joseph Hoche. Today, I'm excited to unravel the complex weaving that makes our families uniquely bonded. Welcome to the science of family, building strong bonds. One of the greatest gifts in my life is the gift of family. I come from a family of five. My super sanguine dad, my melancholic mom, myself, my sister, and my newborn baby brother. He's two days old. <laughs> Families are more than just a group of people living under the same roof. They are people connected by bonds and science. Looking carefully, you see similarities between me and other members of my family, right? There's a saying that goes, an apple does not fall far from the tree. This saying suggests that children often resemble or inherit characteristics from their parents. Let me take you back to a beautiful Saturday evening. I was sitting with a few of my friends at home when an old friend of my dad came visiting. He looked at me and recognized me even though I had never seen him before. He said, you must be Raymond's son. By the way, Raymond is my dad. And I said, yes. He said the resemblance between me and my dad was striking, that it was easy to single me out from other kids. Well, he's right, and it turns out that there is a scientific explanation behind these family resemblances. To begin, each of us has a unique set of instructions in our DNA. Our DNA transmits traits from our parents to us, from us to our children, and this continues from generation to generation. Now, I carried out a survey to see how much resemblance I share with members of my family. This survey was based on some inheritable traits. You can do the same with members of your family. The traits I looked out for were eye color, hair color, ability to roll the tongue, presence or absence of dimples, handedness left or right, and thumbprint. Based on my research from the listed traits, percentage resemblance with my dad is 100%. Percentage resemblance with my mom is 80%. Percentage resemblance with my sister is 80%. Though one may have similar DNA with members of his family, it doesn't translate to having strong bond within the family. It doesn't translate to having genuine love between its members. I know of a story, and I'll describe it as Baba's family. Baba's family comprises of one mother, one father, and six children. Despite these six children are related by blood, they are trying to undo each other. They bully one another. They don't even call one another. They don't visit each other. They are always trying to undo others. They fight, they quarrel. And to sum it all up, they are biological brothers and sisters, yet total strangers to themselves. Having understood that bonding in a family goes beyond blood ties, I will show you how to build a bonded family laced with love and care. Number one, open communication. In my family, I am raised to share my feelings and thoughts with my mom and dad. Because the bedrock of any relationship is communication. I can share just about anything with them, and they guide and counsel me in return. 
Let your family be a place where children can express themselves freely, as this will promote trust, understanding, and bond within the family. Number two, mutual respect. Some time back, I had need for my sister's tablet. I could have just picked it up to use, but I didn't do that. I sought her consent before using it because I respect boundaries. Each member of a family should respect each person's values, opinions, and boundaries. Where there's mutual respect, there's trust and consideration of others. This will promote trust and bond within the family. Number three, support in challenging times. Some time ago, my mom went through a season of health challenges and had to go through some surgeries. It was a hard time for us all. But I saw my dad take care of my mom, providing succor and staying by her side in and out of the theater. Being there for one another, emotionally, mentally, and sometimes physically, can promote trust, understanding, and bond within the family. Shared experiences. Shared experiences come from little acts, like eating, cooking, praying, traveling together. I cherish the moments when I just sit with my mom and we talk. I cherish the moments when I watch movies with my dad. I cherish the moments when I play games with my sister. I cherish the moments when my parents take me to travel to see my grandparents. These moments are priceless. A child desires to be loved and bonded within his family because his family is his safe place and his comfort zone. My questions to all the parents sitting here are, when last did you hug your children? When last did you kiss them and reaffirm them with words like, I love you, you are amazing, we are proud to have you in our lives, you are great, you are awesome. When last did you take your children on a vacation? Are you letting your children air their thoughts without being judgmental? Are your children becoming strangers to you? Are they growing apart? Then act now by building a family with shared experiences and traditions that will make your family cohesive and resilient. Lastly, I will say, our DNA determines our blood ties. But in open communication, mutual respect, shared experiences, and support in challenging times is where true bond lies. Thank you.